Hi, uh, this is Hal from the NC Gaming House. So, uh, I'm gonna be quitting CSS. Basically, the lost interest in the game. Uh, I, it's hard to find a team that I mesh well with. And, I don't know. Just don't want to play the game anymore. My favorite LAN experience would have to be Baseline of 10. Baseline 2010, uh, where the year before we lost to the same team, but the next year we came back and I think we lost a, one of the group play matches on against the team that we ended up beating on train, which really put us in a hole because we suck at train. But anyways, uh, we did a double best of three since there wasn't that many teams and there's a lot of time. So we ended up taking four maps straight to win both best of threes. That'd probably have to be my favorite line experience, my only line win. Well, I got two favorite, or two least favorite line moments. One at ETS, the last ETS, we were playing VVV on season, and some guy came in the server and he would me. The next was at a different base LAN, where we got third, and we were playing with this guy named Top Gun, and his headset wasn't working, his mic wasn't working at all. It was, I people probably remember the vent static on some people's bike you get all you have to do is like restart vent but he wouldn't do that and plus he wouldn't yell and he's a land but he refused to yell his calls so basically made us 4v5 and we lost uh, my shoutouts go to Disclosure, Chaos, Kristoff, uh, Nearcry, uh, everybody from Fragstars, Area 51 K187, I enjoy talking shit to you and having you talk shit back. Uh, no, yeah, that's probably it. Oh, wait. Still going? Everybody uh, from Strawberries and Tuxedos, I know some of you wanted a shout out. And there you go. Uh, down the line, I'll probably come back a bit, maybe. I'll pub around, just try to have fun with the game, just not really play competitively that much. Me, but putting the game in counter sure. But you're not gonna reach your potential if you leave. Uh -oh. That's it? You're telling him? What? Tell him, tell him. I did? Well, you gotta tell him more than just that. I'm quitting the game, I said. I saw you. And what are your comments on how quitting the game? He's quitting the game? Mm-hmm. I don't feel like playing anymore. Uh, it's 2011, who plays Counter-Strike? What the fuck? You? <laughs> Everybody so plays Counter-Strike. You, you want to trade? No. Oh. Wait, you're putting game in. You're gonna play other games for fun. Just not gonna play competitive Counter-Strike. These are a while. So basically, you're taking a break and you'll be back in a little while, right? Maybe? Uh, no? Is this because you couldn't find a team? No. I just don't want to play. First time I'm hearing about it. What? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. GG. Hey guys, it's Steel here from CyberRef. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my in-game settings. I've had a lot of requests, and I've spoken about like what devices I use, but I haven't spoken about uh, my actual settings in-game. So, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, show you my graphic settings. I keep model detail on low, because there are certain um, objects, like truck on Inferno. If you keep model detail on low, you can see through the bottom of the truck, and you, you have, uh, and the, the, the rock outside B, that's to uh, B site um, by the window, you can see through that as well. So there's a, a few objects on various different maps where if you have module detail on low, you can actually see through them and it gives you a little bit of an advantage. Texture detail high, shader detail high, and I keep anti-aliasing on and filtering mode on because it makes the game look a lot more crisp. Um, there's a lot more detail on the ground, it's not just blurry, and I really like that. I like aesthetics when I play games. I hate playing games on low graphic settings unless I actually really have to because my computer can't handle it. 
but right now I have a constant 150 FPS and that's capping it at uh, FPX max 151 and I keep it max at 151 because my monitor refresh rate is at 75 Hertz right now so what I do is I cap it at two times my monitor refresh rate plus one um, I keep my 150 FPS constant and I have good graphics and I really like that I like that a lot because if a game's made with better graphics I want to use the better graphics I want the game to look good um, next thing I'm going to talk about is my crosshair size I've had a lot of people asking me what crosshair scale, uh, size I use and I use the new crosshair settings I don't use a scale I use a size and I use 1.5 I just made the switch a couple months ago from crosshair size of 2, but I like 1.5 a little bit better. It's, uh, it's nice on the screen, um, I'll look at a darker spot right here so you can see it. It's a nice, good size, uh, I'm going to give myself um, an M4 so you can see how big it is. That's how big it is on my screen. Um, I don't use dynamic crosshair, so whenever I move it stays constant, it doesn't resize all the time. Uh, unless I spray and then it gets bigger and then obviously it contracts so that's my crosshair size I'm using red color right now um, I've switched though I've used default green I've used yellow I've used white and I use red um, I guess my favorites would be white and red but on some some monitors some graphic settings it's uh, like on some maps like dust 2 it's too hard to see the white so I think red's a good medium um, for my controls, I use default WASD um, to move around. These are my movement controls. Uh, crouch is control, shift to walk, uh, tab for scoreboard, console, primary, secondary. Up here though, when I cycle through all my things, I don't have it auto weapon switch on. So when I press 1 or 2, um, it won't actually pull out my gun right away. Um, and I, I've played with auto weapon switch on before but I didn't like it because sometimes I make a mistake and I don't want to pull it out. All I have to do in this situation, instead of actually switching guns twice, if I accidentally hit two or something and I'm like, oh shit, there's a guy about to peek me, all I have to do is hit one and I'm good. And I'll pull out my other gun and I can shoot right away. So I think that saves me uh, quite a bit. So I, I like having the, the selection on. Um, Spacebar still jumped for me, but I have it double bound. So my mouse wheel down will also jump for me. And the reason why I have this is primarily from uh, when bunny hopping was around. I used to bunny hop, so mouse wheel down would jump for me. But I also kept the default spacebar. I never undowned it. Um, and I keep it because sometimes I will, like when I crouch jump, I like doing this more than I like crouch and then scroll wheel down. That's why I keep it. My mouse wheel up pulls out a flashbang. I think um, this saves me a lot as well. Because if I'm playing a counter flash spot on CT side, I like to have my gun out a lot, just so um, if I'm spotting someone, I can take a quick shot. But if they flash me and I'm not prepared for the flash because they pop flash, all I have to do is pull out a flash, mouse wheel up, and click. That's all I have to do, mouse wheel up and click, and that'll throw my flashbang for me. So I'm holding position, shooting, 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 mouse wheel up, click. And that saves so much time than going 4-4 four, four, down, you know, click, 4-4, four, four, click. Because if I'm... Let's say I'm blind and I forget that I have an HE grenade, or maybe I don't have an HE grenade, and I press 4-4 twice, I'll pull out my smoke grenade. Um, or if I don't think I have an HE grenade and I think that my flashbang is my first selection, then I pull out an HE grenade and throw it, and I might throw it at myself or something. So, mouse wheel up is good because it keeps, you know, it's my flashbang that's going to come out. What I do a lot is I'll have my primary gun out, and then I'll either have my HE grenade or um, my smoke grenade on my quick switch, which is Q. So I'll press Q um, to pull a smoke, and then if I need my flash, mouse wheel up, and I make it so much uh, quicker that way. I know other people that have other binds to pull out their grenades, um, but I haven't really felt the, the need to do it. So I just, I just keep by this because I feel comfortable with it, and I like it a lot. I have buy binds on my, on my number pad and this helps uh, during the freeze time so much more because you can wait, you can wait, you can you know find out how much te uh, money your team has, everyone's busy typing their money, someone's calling the strat, we figure, oh we're on a deagle round, let's see, I have this much money, there's two seconds left instead of going B14, B63, 
b6 9 for a kit or whatever all I have to do is 6 gives me a deagle 3 gives me a flash 9 gives me a kit um, this is Kevlar and helmet HE grenade smoke grenade AK M4 you can bind the AK and M4 to the same button if you want because you're not going to be able to buy an M4 on T side and you can't buy an AK on uh, CT side so you can bind it to the same key but I do it just so I don't make a mistake if I'm holding an M4 as a terrorist and then I rebuy an AK. Um, 8 is up uh, and I do this so I could drop it to a teammate if someone needs a gun it's oh 8G and I drop in my up. Um, so those are my buy binds. Uh, you can make them whatever you want. It's in it's all in my config on the ESCA website. Um, I just do this because I set it up the first time I got used to it and it just makes buy uh, buying things during the free time that much quicker. Um, everything else is standard. My sensitivity is 1.05 in game. On my Zai, it's 900 CPI and it's 900 Hertz uh, exact rate. So what that does for me on my QCK heavy is if I go into a corner and I aim uh, right at the corner of the wall, if I do one full swipe from far left to far right on my keyboard or on my mouse pad, it's going to do just over a, uh, 180. So this is good because when I clear things, I'm able to do a quick 90 degree snap. I can go quick 90 degrees this way and then quick 90 degrees this way. And it's, it's comfortable because I'm not doing this like some people do. Um, also, I'm not doing like if I, I'm not overextending so much by if I aim a tiny bit, I'm not going to go like this and just aim at the other side of the map. I can do a comfortable flick. I can do a comfortable flick. So I like, I like the sensitivity a lot. Um, I think a 180 from far left to far right is, is good. There's a pretty big mouse pad, so I think that uh, using the space is um, practical. It's, it makes sense to have a big mouse pad and use that space, but so high, really high sensitivity doesn't make sense on this mouse pad. Also really low sensitivity is just not good for rifling because you need to clear out close objects and you can't be going like this, like scrolling around your mouse pad really quick. To, to clear things out. So those are my video settings and my mouse settings and my keyboard settings.